questions? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there are a couple things that I want to correct here that I've heard said already. First, I want to give uh, Chairwoman Fox a chance to respond to something that Mr. Takano said, but I want to give Mr. Takano a chance to say it again. You, you claimed, I believe, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, so I'll let you say what you said, that uh, Chairwoman Fox believes that biological men who identify as women don't exist. Is that correct, that she's denying their existence? Uh, she, she has stated uh, that she doesn't know what trans is. But you uh, said and, you she, and, and, and she doesn't want to address uh, the rights of trans girls and women or trans people in, in general, and uh, we can get further now, into No, I'm not the asking about the rights. It's not the rights that you called into question, I believe. You said that she said these people don't exist. You said that. Um, we can go back. She, she said, what I heard her say is, I don't know anything about trans people. I don't know what that means. No, no you're, you're re but, but let me, and we could, you know, I'll apologize later if I'm mischaracterizing sure. what you said, but you used the word exist. You said that she says they don't exist. I believe she's not calling into question their existence. She's calling into question this fantasy that they could change their sex. Correct. Um, do you want to clarify? Yeah, absolutely. No, you're exactly right. I do not deny the existence of people who say they are biologically one sex but identify as another. Certainly there are people in this country who say that. My point was one cannot change one's biological sex. It has not been found to be possible. Um, I used to teach sociology. Back in the 70s and 80s, one of the books that I put on the list for my students to read was a book called Conundrum. It was actually about a male who had grown up as a male who later in life decided he was going to identify as a female. So I've been familiar with this phenomenon since way before many other people were familiar with them. I, I add that book as one of the books my students could read in a marriage in the family class because I thought it was an issue that would be good for them to understand or to be familiar with. I'll go back to what I said to begin with, Mr. Massey, and thank you for asking the question. I do not believe it is possible for a person to change one's biological sex. Let, let me ask. And so when I said I don't understand what you mean by transgender, what I mean is how does one go from one gender to another? You might change the way you behave, but you cannot change your biological sex. Mr. Takano, uh, are there biological differences between men and women that are immutable, unchangeable? Well, there are, there are biological, biological sex characteristics, and we also know that there are intersex uh, individuals whose, uh, whose biological characteristics are ambiguous uh, and who were assigned uh, a particular sex by a medical practitioner, and some of these uh, individuals have grown up uh, experiencing themselves uh, contrary to the uh, assigned uh, sex that was given by the medical professional uh, when they were born. So we, we, know, we know that that exists. We also know this, that those there are, cases can do I, exist, but, but uh, I think well, it obfuscates also, the discussion well, can I, can we're I, having here. No, now. I don't think so it. Let me re ask the question. Well, let me. Because I think you agree with Ms. Fox. You, you said that there are biological characteristics that are different between men and women that are immutable. Well, 
the, the, there's also the aspect. Do you agree with well, that? Wait a minute, wait, Mr. Massey. Okay, Mr. 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 Massey. Let me, let me, let me, let me, and then I'll ask the question again. Let me, let me, let me finish. Um, there are also cases where people are born with uh, the sex characteristics, or male or female, uh, but whose whose interiority, whose experience, uh, is contrary to that. Uh, and that's not necessarily something uh, the, the chairwoman implied that that was a choice. Uh, that is also uh, of an entire biological system, something that uh, presents itself. So that I can I don't I wouldn't say that sums up everything, but I would say in a very simple way, uh, there are people who are born with the sexual characteristics of one sex, but who then. Uh, experience themselves uh, as the opposite, do you, as the do contrary. Do you agree that? And that, that's not a matter of choice. I'll let you filibuster. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, do you agree that there are biological differences that are immutable between men and women? There are biological differences. Like their chromosomes, for instance. Uh, there, are there are biological differences. OK. So. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's, maybe it's a matter of degree, but to some degree, you agree with Representative Fox, Chairwoman Fox, that you can't change your biological sex. Not, you could change your appearance, you could, uh, but you can't change I, your biological sex. I, I think sex. a trans, I, I can't, I'm not trans, so I can't, I, I, but I, if I were to speak for them, I would say that a transgender person you know, might say that it's not about them changing their sex, it's about being who they are. Uh, uh, but the bill speaks just of their sex, their biological sex, not how they identify. Uh, we're, talking about we, the, we're talking about the totality of a person. Why do, why do and, they, and as the governor of Utah uh, said, he struggles to understand it, but in that struggle, he would err on the side of compassion and understanding. Chairwoman Fox doesn't seem to struggle much with this. Uh, why do we have two different categories of sports leagues? Why, why do we even separate them by male and female? Well, in some in, in, in California and many other states, not just California, so it's not just a, a, a California thing. But wrestling, for example, is, is not divided among, there's not a girls team or a boys team. Girls will compete according to weight class, and I've seen girls compete in wrestling tournaments against boys. This is not about, so this law is about the, uh, about the inclusion of, of trans but girls and trans women. But wouldn't that in this solve case, it all? Just get rid of the different leagues? Well, Mr. Mr. Massey, um, this is an interesting question. I, I wish that we would have had a hearing to uh, explore uh, all these different kind of all these different kinds of uh, situations, um, but this bill would categorically ban trans girls and trans women from sports, which is contrary to allowing states and localities figure out on a sport by sport, case by case basis. Is what the the NCAA and the Olympic Committee have admitted women uh, and girl, women athletes for, for for many many years now. Uh, they have metrics, uh, scientific metrics they use to sort of evaluate the fairness of competition. This is something, I'm saying this is, oh, well, you know, you of see, all people should see. Just, yeah, just let, me, let me ask yeah. you that. Let yeah. me ask you that, because you did touch on something. There's a libertarian case to be made that uh, the Department of Education shouldn't exist and that Title IX shouldn't exist and it should, should all be left up to the states and localities. Are you making that argument against this bill? Are you saying that the federal government should not be involved? Well, I think very, very good, Mr. Massey. Because you could compel no, no, me very, with that very, argument. Very, very, very interesting. Um, but Title IX is not, uh, is not gender specific. It just says there shall be no discrimination on the basis of sex. And, uh, and I celebrate the fact that Chairman, uh, Chairwoman uh, uh, Fox uh, has noted the tremendous progress that women and girls have made in terms of sports participation. But we're nowhere near uh, a level of parity of women and girls. And what I have not seen, I, I as a Democrat and would, would have preferred to have seen legislation which addressed 
the disparity rather than uh, uh, crafting or amending Title IX to specifically circumscribe girls and women, so uh, trans girls and let women. Me, let me sports. ask the, where we started before we went down this path. What, why do we have two different categories? Why, were, why was a separate category created for women? There was no separate in, category. In leagues. No, I mean uh, in sports. For instance, I have a relative who's female who got a tennis scholarship. She went to a college where it was uh, dominated by the football team. Yes. And there were many males there. Why did, why did they create categories of sports or leagues that are female exclusively? Why did they exist? Well, they, I mean, they exist for uh, giving women opportunities uh, to... Can't they have those opportunities in the male leagues? Uh, they often do. On a case, on a sport by sport basis, I cited wrestling as an example. So, if a girl, there's not a there's not a boys there's not a girls tackle football team. Uh, why not? The, 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 the expense of it. I'm, I'm glad you asked the question. That should be a question we deal with. Shouldn't we here. just tell them all? I think just we should play have a, football with the guys. I think we should have a hearing. They do in California. If you want to compete, uh, uh, if a girl wants to compete on a boys football team because of Title IX, they have a right to. Because there's not a there's not a girls tackle football team, but that this should be explored in a committee. We should have a hearing I, on this I exact think, topic. I think uh, many years ago, the answer to girls who wanted to play sports was suit up and, and get in there and mix it up with the males. And what we found out is that doesn't really work out well for the females in a, in a lot of sports. There are sports where females may excel uh, uh, a I, bit more so than males, but. Not in a lot of these. Well, Ms. Mousy, so if you're making a, the case, I'll, and I'll let you speak here in a second, yeah. but it almost sounds like that's where we're going with this, and it's troubling to me and a lot of females. Let me get to the other thing that I think was mischaracterized here. I wasn't going to bring up the politics today, but the other side brought up the politics of this and claimed that this riles up the right-wing base, that somehow there's an electoral advantage to be had by playing to the right wing base here. The reality is the people who are most concerned about this are moms, are women who are more moderate or maybe not even politically affiliated uh, because they don't want their daughters being denied opportunities. They don't want their daughters in the same restrooms as, as uh, the boys. And so it's not about, like, the politics of this is not about riling up the base. In fact, if you go look at the demographics, you know, uh, it was mentioned, and I wouldn't have brought up this name, but it was already brought up, so I'll bring it up, Governor Ron DeSantis. Won in a landslide in Florida on this issue, not by riling up the base, but because more so than ever, you had Democrats who voted for him and independents who voted for him more so than in other races, typically in Florida, he did not get a 20 point victory by rallying up the base over wokeism. He got a 20 point victory by expressing common sense well, attitudes that moderates and independents hold. And so my understanding is that he won in 2016 because of black mothers who believe in school choice. And he won by about 40,000 well, votes could... because those parents want school choice. And so I think you make an excellent oh. point. And if you hear over and over again, Mr. Massey, the word extremist, 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 that's, that's all the other side can talk about. Extremist efforts to target trans kids and I read the bill, and there's nothing in this bill to target trans kids or to ban books. Mr. There's Massey, nothing Mr. in here. If I could, um, if I I could, wanna, if I could address, let me ask you. If I could no, address, wait, the I'm going to move on because okay. everybody okay. wanted to be done by seven, and I'm already, I think, inspiring the ire of my colleagues who want to get done soon, but uh, or in time just to do other things, um, like vote. Do you do you believe that? Biological men should be able to compete for scholarships, women's scholarships, if they, if, if they so much as identify as a woman. 
Well, I think, uh, I think trans women, we should, we should start from the premise of inclusiv uh, inclusivity, because you're avoiding the use of trans women. You're, you're, you want to put forward your terms and, are, uh, and proceed on a debate, but I, I will say that there are trans women. I do think that the, the International Olympic Committee and the NCAA have accepted trans women uh, on a sport by sport, case by case basis. Okay, that that's existed for many years, and we've only had a handful of cases where this issue of fair or unfair competition has if, become an issue. If I so phrase not, the so okay, let me let me respond. If I phrase if I phrase the question using your vernacular, yeah, should trans women be able to compete for women's scholarships? On it as a general. Rule as a general rule, the answer is yes, but I think there ought to be accommodations. Let, let me ask another uh, question. To, well, there ought to Which, be. A, yep, let me let me ask a few more questions. There, ought, the to be could, there ought to be Mr. accommodations, Chairman, I, Mr. Chairman. Well, I'm we, trying to be polite. No, I, I'm, I'm, Mr. Chairman. I, I I think we ought to. I, I think we ought to allow the witness to answer the question. Well, I. I mean, I'm. Okay. I'm, I, 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 get, I, I get it, but out of courtesy, take, out of courtesy, uh, take, take a minute out of courtesy, to answer the question. Uh, out, out, of, out of decorum and courtesy, I think it's appropriate to let him answer the, the question. Can if you want to be rude, yeah, you don't have to. Gentlemen is certainly uh, can raise the point. Opinion of the chair, I did not see any rudeness going on here, nor have I seen any lack of ability of people to participate. Uh, in the discussion. Well, we were so to be as generous as possible. If, if, so yeah, you have two, been, sir. You have been. If I, I may I finish. I appreciate the, the give and take. May, may, may I finish? Sure. Sorry. Thank you very much. So just give yourself a little more time. But again, I did not detect uh, an acrimonious exchange <laughs> no, no, or any anybody being rude to anybody in this exchange. So with that, I'll return the time to the gentleman. Uh, and, I, and I yield to Mr. Uh, Takano. Well, so we don't have a single example of a trans woman getting a scholarship in the first place, all right? But you're raising the hypothetical, uh, would, would I? We should really focus on increasing scholarship opportunities for all women. As I said, the issue is a million more opportunities for men than women right now. So the real issue is how do we increase opportunities for all women? Um, the, so far, this, this, this hypothetical you've mentioned has not presented itself in reality of a transgender or a trans woman winning an athletic scholarship. We've not seen that happen. And in the, in the but arena... But you wouldn't be against it? On a case-by-case -case basis, we have to, I think, uh, evaluate the situation to, in the way that the NCAA and the IOC do now. Did, I mean, is anything more required of a trans woman than to say she's a trans woman? Well, I think, I think. Are you putting conditions like you gotta be a real trans woman to get a, a woman's scholarship? Or are you, I mean, I wanna give you a chance to say, what's well, the line? I, I, again, this is something that I think we should have done in a, in, in a more robust committee hearing with trans people present, with trans experts, with the experience of uh, athletic directors, the International Olympic Committee folks, the NCAA, we could have had a far more robust discussion than coming to this place and where we arrived at is a complete and total ban, which is what two Republican governors have rejected after careful consideration. That's, that's, that's my concern. And you as a libertarian with a, 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 a deep uh, suspicion of government overreach and government powers, this is this is this is a this is a bill that ought to be antithetical uh, to, uh, I think, your beliefs. Well, um, if you want to <laughs> co-sponsor my bill to eliminate the Department of Education, <laughs> feel free to join me. I'll yield. Are there more questions? And I love the dialogue, but I'm going to yield back to the chair. I appreciate now. the respect, the mutual respect we have for one another. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Gentlelady from Pennsylvania is recognized for questions. 